friends, it's me. And today we are back at it again with people who didn't get what they expected. Okay, this is not a joke, so don't laugh. Nothing much watching a movie. Fun, which one? P.S. I love you. Lisa, I've liked you for a while now. I was always scared you didn't. Do you want to meet up? I think we've got a lot to talk about. We get this. Matthew, I am so sorry. P.S. I love you is the movie name. Oh! No! Can we get a moment of silence for Matthew over here? He really thought she was like, P.S. I love you. Just out of nowhere. Oh my god! My dreams are finally coming true! My heart hurts for Matthew. Poor dude, he never saw it. Dad, all I want is an iPad for Christmas. You got it. And Ashley got exactly what she asked for. An iPad. A pad with an I. This is the wrong iPad, father. Not what I wanted. This person asked for extra cheese. Don't ask for extra cheese if you can't handle extra cheese. Is that on the bun? They put it all over the bun? That's too much cheese. This is where you draw the line. I mean, that burger already got cheese and then they dipped it into more cheese. How do you even eat this without getting a cheese face? I'm hungry right now. That actually looks pretty good. Smash like if you would take a bite. I would be that one person that wears a white shirt the day that I eat this. And then it's just, oh, cover my insides and outsides with cheese, please. We paid a photographer who claimed to be a professional $250 for a family photo. Please see these for real photos she delivered to us. She said the shadows were really bad on the beautiful, clear, sunny day and that her professor never taught her to retouch photos. This is not a joke. Final product. <laughs> Okay, okay, time to go back. Control Z, undo, undo, undo. I mean, at least the dogs look good. But what is this? She literally drew the family's faces back on. Like what? I made you guys look better. You should be thanking me. What kind of photographer doesn't know how to edit photos? These look like they would have been fine. You really had to troll this poor family like this. They were just trying to have a nice family portrait and you ruined it. So there was this event, Easter Circus Sunday. We got drinks, a popcorn machine, giant ball pit, balloon drop giveaway. It's gonna be lit. Y'all and your family better be there. Here is the giant ball pit. Oh, it's so sad. I mean, if you're like this big, it's pretty giant, but this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Poor kids who went here were expecting to have fun. I mean, at least there's one dollar drinks. <laughs> I ordered a lush brown bear mask. Got this instead. Okay, first of all, whoa, what are you even doing with that? Somehow, I feel like the actual thing looks more terrifying than it does online. Like, you show up with that, people gonna start screaming, running for their lives. So, I mean, you probably got it because you wanted to be creepy in the first place. So, in that, you succeeded, sir. So, this guy got his crush a brand new phone, a diamond bracelet, and a matching diamond necklace. And she's gonna post it on Facebook and be like, Thank you, bro, for my gifts. I love them, but I'm most thankful for your friendship for all always being there for me. What did you say? Man, I thought we were gonna take this to the next level. He's like, I went to Jared. And after all this, she's still gonna friend zone him. Everyone type F in the chat for my dude Juan. One life equals one step out of the friend zone. Like he got her these things, expecting them to be a thing. But no, she's just gonna take them and be like, I love our friendship. Nah, if you ain't trying to be his main squeeze, then give this stuff back and be like, I appreciate your friendship, but you know what? We can't take this to the next level. Don't just like keep it and be like, damn, what a good friend. He bought me all this. Got a new job at the cinema and it's changed my life. I asked my boss, what if we see someone taking their own food in? And she said, Ryan, it's a myth. People can bring their own food in here. Wait, what? Really? You're telling me this whole time I didn't have to smuggle my Chipotle in my bag, you know, walk up to the movies looking like a criminal. No? It's okay? Okay. <laughs> I know what I'm doing now, man. I ain't never paying $9.99 for a popcorn again. I'm gonna smuggle myself some in and out some Starbucks. Y'all can't tell me anything Hopefully it's like this in my movie theater. Hey, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you sent me the wrong order He ordered a pair of pants and some sunglasses and got a full harlot red gown Are you sure it's the wrong order? Maybe this was another order. I mean, it's in your size I mean he really had to try it on and be like, okay, you know what? Let me make sure it's not the pants and the glasses I bought just gotta make sure But I swear this is me. It's like whenever I go to the store and I want something and it's not there I'll like keep looking and keep looking and keep looking in the same spot and like going back and forth and be like 
okay, you know what? I'm gonna check one more time even though I'm 125% sure this item is not in this vicinity. And then I'll check one more time. Like, it'll magically appear. Yeah! <laughs> I am so done. So this mother ordered a cake for her daughter who is graduating high school and she was like, hey, make the cake say congratulations, Laura. And make sure you draw like a cap on her head. A cat? Yeah, cat. I got you. Say no more. <laughs> I know sometimes it's like so hard to hear people on the phone. You say B, they think you saying V. It's like something sounds so similar and they got cap and cat mixed up. And I ended up drawing a cat on her head. <laughs> she probably like, what the hell? Why you want a cat on your daughter's head. So I went on Amazon and I ordered this wig, you know, it's so luscious. Hair so big, it's full of secrets. Looking like a little mermaid snack. And then when it came in the mail, I got this. What is this? Party City 6.99 wig. I can see how fake each individual fiber looks. It ain't even hair. This is just straight up scam though. This is why you gotta read review. This is my dog after he gets a haircut. Oh. Bruh, I don't know what you told the groomer, but what is this? He looked like a half-plucked chicken. Y'all better get your money back. Man, if they do this to my dog, I'm gonna walk back in there and be like, okay, y'all let me cut your dog's hair. And then I'm gonna do the same to their dog. That's some John Wick style revenge. Um, Urban Outfitters, weirdest looking unicorn I've ever seen. <laughs> they thought they were getting a unicorn pool float. And then they blow it up as, what is this? A kitty pool? Y'all done bamboozled me. I mean, to be fair, that is a pool float. You could float in the pool in it. I mean, your friends will just think you ballin'. It's like that SpongeBob episode. He's so rich, he got a pool inside his pool. Got a Walmart cake for my bro-in-law, and the woman asked his name, and I thought she said color. So I said, surprise me. And she put Steve. His name is Nick. <laughs> so what name you want on the cake? I don't know, surprise me. What do you mean, surprise me? Y'all don't even know the dude's name? I don't put Steve. So, I I wanted to take this moment to let you all know that I got a sweet deal on a tent on Amazon, only $9.99, free shipping, and then when you finally get the tent, <laughs> Okay, you know what? If it fits the chips, it's a little cramped. But you know what? Your boy got a good deal. I don't care how small it is. You know, we can work with this. I'm getting claustrophobic looking at this. How did he manage his whole body in there? Assume dumpling position. That's the only way. Me. Orders a bagel. Can you cut it in half? Because the whole bagel cannot fit in my mouth. I got you. Who cut my bagel, Stevie Wonder? Who cuts a bagel like this? I know, it's supposed to be from the middle, but like it's like they didn't even try. They were trying to make her write an angry tweet like not even close is at least a good inch away from the middle man if I somehow accidentally cut someone's bagel like this I would start over I'm gonna make you a new bagel sandwich like what is this abomination and then the fact that they actually looked at this after they cut it and was like you know what this is fine this is okay this is how much we love and respect our customers I want my birthday cake to have the teapot and the cup from Beauty and the Beast on it okay you got it oh, what is this why they look so mad like you awoken them from their eternal slumber. Happy third birthday. Oh man, that's a little kid too. But they're so happy. Why do they look so angry? Like, I don't belong on a birthday cake. How dare you disrespect my family's lineage. Let me get my cheese on the side. You had one job, McDonald's. I asked for my cheese on the side. Huh, they'd be like, mm, side of what? We don't do cheese on the side. You mean like the side of your burger? Why? Okay, I ain't gonna argue about it. I'm just gonna be a good, hardworking employee because the customer is always right. I mean, y'all asked for it on the side. Who asked for cheese on the side in the first place? Anybody? So I'm gonna be Deadpool for Halloween. I ordered this super delicious Lux costume and then you get this this is why you don't order costumes off wish or ebay or any chinese sites because if it's probably too good to be true you pay 9.99 for this you gonna get 9.99 worth of black and red fabric that vaguely looks like an off-brand spider-man it don't even look like deadpool sephora employee you have 70,000 points you can choose from any of these things bruh this is how it be though it don't matter how many points you get at sephora all the samples that you can get with the points are literally this big. I can fit them inside the boat of my nail. No, y'all got nail beds, I got nail boat. When your absolute babe of a best friend turns up smartly dressed and tells you to put on a dress as he's taking me on a date for a late Valentine's Day as he was in Hong Kong for it. I seriously couldn't wish for a better best friend and he really does look after me and spoil me. Have so much love for this boy. Bruh, can we get a big fat oof for this guy? 
guy who got friend zone so hard. Like he spoils her. Come on, girl, take the hint. Your guy friend does not spoil you unless he likes you. I ordered this beautiful bouquet of flowers for my mother on Mother's Day. And she got this. What is this? Where are the flowers? Hello? Flowers? I paid $89.99 for y'all. Where you at? Where you hiding? Y'all better hurry up, do some photosynthesis magic, cause I wanna see some flowers blooming. This actually happened to me a few years ago. So you know those flower sites where they show like these beautiful huge bouquets of flowers like this, but then you get this. And it was so disappointing. But it's like, how do they even ship this? This is so many flowers. And also you gotta read the fine print, cause I always like, flowers may vary, AKA they ain't gonna look nothing like this. <laughs> This poor dude ordered an Xbox with FIFA on eBay and what he received in the mail was a picture Badly printed on a printer that's about to run out of ink and shipped to him You could tell that printers printed out so many scams its entire ink cartridge lifespan Man, he put on his Adidas shirt. He was ready to go. He was ready to play FIFA, but he got played instead So this girl was sunbathing and she was like take a nice picture of me for the gram This has gotta be her little brother there ain't nobody do this but a little brother. Yeah, I'm gonna make the shadow look like I'm picking your nose. Nice. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.